Hey, what's poppin' everybody? Let's get into it today. We got a recap of yesterday. Yesterday we did have a one in three day. Um, don't get me started with the lock of the day. Uh, Wendell Carter Jr. over 9.5 rebounds. Finishes the game with nine rebounds, but in the first half had zero rebounds. Had no rebounds in the first half. Um, I get that that's in, a little bit, in fact, to do with the fact that the Warriors stopped, shot the ball really well in the first half. Um, but still, it's pretty wild to think that he had zero rebounds in the first half and then had nine in the second half if he just would have grabbed one, right? But it's it's always if, ands, and what ifs. But uh, that's tough there that he grabs nine in the second half and not a single one in the first half. Um, as far as Michael Porter Jr. goes, that's his worst game of the season. We were talking about it yesterday. Um, his average on the year was 26 on his PRA, or his points and rebounds. His worst game of the year was 22, um, and he had 17 last night. So just had his worst game of the season last night. Not a whole lot we can do there. Uh, and then Shea Godis Alexander uh, easily hits his points. Game was close for a little bit, then the then the Nuggets kind of pulled away with it there at the end. But um, we did end up going one and two yesterday. Finally got out of our three and zero, zero and three, three and zero, zero and three little streak that we were on there. Finally, but um, got to get back on track now. We're now sitting at a losing record. We still are up on our units, but we're still in a losing record right now. So uh, we got to get three plays out, or I guess I just have two, just two plays for you today. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, I I'm going to do three plays. I'm just going to post it on Instagram later today because. Um, I want Darius Garland tonight or Donovan Mitchell. Um, the Pistons give up 31 points per game to, to uh, point guards. So um, they don't have any Cleveland lines up now because uh, Cade and, or not Cade, because um, Donovan and Darius are both dealing with like injuries and they're like questionable right now. Um, they give up the most points in the NBA to point guards. So I'm going to either play Garland or Donovan, whoever starts at point guard tonight. Um, but they just haven't posted that line yet. But I do have two other plays to make the perfect threes for us today. Real quick, if you guys are new to Underdog Fantasy, in the link down in the description below, I have a uh, link that takes you straight to the app store where you can download Underdog Fantasy because you're going to want to hop in on the action this year. They have added a whole bunch of new features to Underdog Fantasy this year, um, starting with the brand new insurance feature, okay? This insurance feature is a new thing that has been uh, super requested uh, for, for the fans and the customers of Underdog Fantasy. Essentially, all you do is you click insurance right here. And all you, if you can see right there, all you have to do is hit for these picks to win, but the value does drop down. So if you turn off the insurance, you do a $10 bet, you obviously get $200. And if you turn on the insurance feature, it drops down uh, a multiplier down to 10. But if you miss one of these picks, say, you know, James Winston gets hurt or something, he doesn't end up throwing two touchdown passes. But everybody hits, everybody else hits like Lamar, Jonathan Taylor, uh, Derek Henry and Justin Jefferson, all these guys hit, you still hit the hit or you still hit the slip. You just get it for $100, just goes down a multiplier, which is a huge feature a lot of people have been asking for, so they received it. Also, they have added second half lines now to games. Obviously, it is on, uh, there is nothing up because there's no NFL second half games, but they have added NFL second half. Um, so just like for the Thursday night game, I'll throw up that clip right here. Thursday night, they dropped all the second half lines for that Thursday night game between the Bills and the Rams. They've added a bunch of new features this year. They're trying to improve to get uh, the app better for you guys. Um, also, if, when you sign up, if you use code take my shot, you'll get a hundred dollars match, uh, up to a hundred dollars match and a hundred percent deposit match uh, on your first time deposit. So if you do that, you can deposit fifty dollars to get another an extra fifty dollars, you know, twenty dollars to get an extra twenty dollars. Um, whole lot of stuff coming in with Underdog Fantasy this year. Make sure you sign up with code take my shot. Now let's get to today's bets. All right, today's lock of the day will be coming from the Washington Brooklyn game, the six ten game. We're gonna head and ride with Bradley Beal tonight over one point five three pointers. This is absolutely absurd. The Brooklyn Nets give up four threes a game to starting shooting guards, and they give up five in the NBA total. They give up the most uh, threes to shooting guards in the NBA by a long shot. Um, tonight, they'll take on Bradley Beal, and they've got his three-point line sitting at 1.5 right now. Um, in his two matchups last year versus the Brooklyn Nets, he did have three threes in both those games and also attempted 20 threes, which is a, you know, a pretty plentiful amount for Bradley Beal to take that many threes in those two games. Um, as he's fared this year, he's played eight games. He's gone over in this three point, uh, line twi or four times and gone under four times. So he split it right down the middle. And again, when, when people split it right down the middle and they're averaging it out, what I always say is, you know, if they're going to play a team that gives up a lot statistically, they're going to go over the average. If they're playing a team that gives up less statistically, they're going to go under the average, right? To even out the average. So that's going to be one of those nights where he's going to go over the average. Um, they allow four threes a game and 21 points per game to uh, starting shooting guards in the NBA this season to the Brooklyn Nets. Also losing Kyrie Irving. I know Kyrie Irving's not a shooting guard, but that's losing a guard who, you know, is used to playing out there with NBA talent. Obviously, someone now is going to have to step up who doesn't normally have a role on, on a normal night, nightly basis as a starter in the NBA. So he's going to be guarded tonight by someone that probably, is, you know, doesn't have as much runtime as a guy like Kyrie Irving or, you know, one of those starters would have versus Bradley Beal. Um... In eight games this year, the Brooklyn Nets have played eight games. 
they are almost 100% over in this 1.53s our shooting guards versus them and shooting threes. They are seven for eight, our shooting guards versus the Brooklyn Nets and hitting the three pointers. The only guy that did not hit was Grayson Allen, and he still hit one three and took six in that game. He just couldn't connect on a second one there. So they are almost averaging, or almost 100% hit rate is this um, over 1.53s versus the Brooklyn Nets tonight. So it's going to be the lock of the day for us today Bradley Beal over 1.53s versus the Brooklyn Nets. All right, coming in with our second play of the day, which will be the last of today's video since we don't have that last line that I want to get today. Uh, we're going to go head over to the Chicago Boston game. Uh, give me Nikola Vucevic tonight, over 12.0 rebounds. Um, in the last game he played, on, obviously, versus the Celtics, he had 23, 23 boards in that game earlier this season. Um, don't expect production like that, but that would be nice if he could give us 23 damn. That would be fantastic. I would absolutely love that. Uh, but the Celtics do give up this, the fourth most rebounds in the NBA to starting centers, uh, or two centers in general. Um, Vucevic sits uh, near the top of the NBA in as far as rebound chances, sits about 17.7 .7 rebound chances a game, but he grabs 12.3 rebounds a game. To think that he uh, gets 17 chances a game and averages 12, that means he's only missing about four of his rebound chances a game when you do the, you know, the points, decimals and stuff like that. He's only missing about four chances a game, which is, that's, that's pretty crazy to think that a guy's, you know, getting that many chances and he's actually connecting on a lot of those chances. Not normally do you see a guy that averages pretty close numbers to his average to close to his chances so i'm liking the fact that he, he averages a lot of chances and gets pretty close there on his rebound average as well um he's hit the over as far as how he's played this year he's hit the over five times and hit the under four times his number is a little bit juiced today obviously because of how he performed last time and what the celtics put up defensively um his, his line is not normally sitting up here at that 12 range um how the celtics have fared versus starting shooting guards uh in the season so far um <clears throat> joel Embiid had 15 Bam Adebayo had 8, 12 from Wendell Carter Jr., um, 23 from Nikola Vucevic, uh, 11 from Jared Allen, 13 from Kristaps Porzingis, and 14 for Jared Allen, um, sitting at a 13.7 average, but obviously very juiced because of that 23 rebound game versus the um, versus Nikola Vucevic last time. So um, still giving up a fairly high amount of rebounds. Um, his, they're going to put his line right at 12.0, which is the thing that I kind of aggravates me with underdogs sometimes is when they do .0 lines because... I don't want to push. Do I think he can get to 13 or do I think he's going to get right to 12? I think he'll get right to that 12 range. Um, you know, again, like I said, if you want to, Nikola, if you're watching, if you want to get to that 23 range again, I'd love to see that. But uh, with that being said, that's going to be our second play of the day today, Nikola Vucevic over 12.0 rebounds. All right, let's talk about our perfect two slip for now. We will make it a three slip later in the day. The lock of the day is Brad the Beal over 1.5 three pointers. Give me Nikola Vucevic over 12.0 rebounds. And then it's most likely going to be Darius Garland over on his points and assists. Just got to figure out. Uh, what they dropped that line at. I'm assuming maybe 22 and a half, maybe 21 and a half for Darius Garland. Um, an extra line worth noting, um, Giannis Antetokounmpo tonight versus the Mil versus uh, Minnesota. A lot of people are taking Minnesota tonight. Um, Bucks have just come off like six straight home games. Um, this game's a lot closer than I would anticipate it to be. Um, it's a three and a half point spread between Milwaukee and Minnesota. Um, another reason why I was kind of high in this game is the total in this one is at 227 and a half. So if Drew Holiday ends up not playing this game, you're going to want to get Giannis's points now while it's at 33.5. He played their last game versus Minnesota without Drew Holiday as well, and he had 40 in that matchup. So if Drew Holiday ends up not playing, it's going to be a hot line. Is that Giannis line? It'll probably move up two points. I'll probably move it up to 34.5 if I had to guess, maybe 35.5 for Giannis. Um, so that one's a good one. Also was looking at Steven Adams over in his rebounds versus the Hornets, um, sitting at 10.5 right now in Steven Adams' rebounds. Um Steven Adams is kind of like a Clint Capella guy for me. He kind of scares me because he only plays like 15 to 20 minutes a game. Um, so that one, that's the only reason it kind of scares me. But Steven Adams was another line I was looking at for sure. Versus the Hornets, over 10.5 rebounds. All right, boys. With that being said, that will wrap up today's video. Let's get on track. Um, loving these plays. Absolutely loving these plays. You got to dig, in, dig into the nit and gritty, the dirty of the stats and find out these two plays. Especially this Bradley Beal one. I'm really in love with this Bradley Beal one. Not a guy that likes to shoot the three a lot, um, but when he does, he does connect, can disconnect on it sometimes. And he's taking a team that just gives up a ton of, of three-pointers. three, or three So, loving that line. Nikola Vucevic had a monster game last time. Uh, if he can do anything close to what he did last time, he's going to be just fine in this one. Um, so, loving those two plays. Again, follow me on Instagram. I'll throw it up here. My Instagram is Take My Shot Sports. Um, it's so funny sometimes to me when I put my Instagram up in the video. I literally have it right here. And then I get a comment five minutes later that says, what's your Instagram? It's right here. It's, you know, Take My Shot Sports right here. Um, so make sure you follow me there. I'll also post it on Twitter too. So I'll throw my Twitter up right here as well. Um, so don't ask what my Twitter is in the comments. It's right here. I mean, I'll obviously respond to you and stuff like that, but I do put it right here at the end of the video. Um, with that being said, guys, I will catch you tomorrow. I'll put those extra plays up by the end of the day and I will catch you later. Peace.